the planet Jupiter. Moon. And right next to Moon is Mars, the red planet. Subscribe for Naked Eye Sky. It's a short that we make in the mornings. I like to point out planets and bunnies and, uh, and, uh, you know, start my day with, uh, with good energy. <sighs> How are you? Good morning. Happy Wednesday. It's hump day. That's right. You have a choice. You can hump this day, lest it may hump you without your consent. Don't be that day. <laughs> it's 4.56 a.m. in the morning. Ah. Here we are at the Green Line Station for this week. Longtime viewers of the show will know we've seen this station before. Haven't we? Yes, we have. It's a chilly morning, about 39 degrees Fahrenheit. If I'm wearing a couple of undershirts, sure, as I always do. But two thermal shirts, a sweatshirt, a, uh, a Columbia vest, a knit cap, my hood is up. And because when I come home, it's going to be literally 20 degrees warmer. So yeah, huh? How about that? How you like them apples, Chief? Good morning and welcome to Live and Learn. It's the morning gratitude show produced from the streets of Boston with the dash of street smarts. <laughs> Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh. <coughs> I wake up in the morning, 3.37 a.m., Monday through Friday. So that means Sunday night through Thursday night, I'm going to sleep what you would probably consider wicked early. If I'm not asleep by 7.30 p.m., I'm not getting my proper eight hours of sleep. I respect, appreciate, and crave a good night's sleep. So much so that it's on, it helps lead off my gratitude list. My gratitude list has really helped me out. Um, it's made the biggest impact on me where, um, you know, a lifetime of therapy and a lifetime of spiritual seeking it kind of was distilled into some pithy, simple advice. Have you tried gratitude? Have you tried making a gratitude list? Writing down what matters most. And it got to the point where on sideways days, I could look at my gratitude list, read my past gratitudes, and literally count my blessings. It had this immediate and palpable impact on me, this ability to stop the, the inertia of my bad day and bad moments and give me a neutral space where I can make a choice. I can choose to continue my shitty morning or day or, or I could choose something different, something else. Now, I've done something that I thought was impossible. I've conquered... My self-talk, you know, your inner dialogue, you know, that churn of thoughts and like of it, 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 it. Now it's no longer this endless cycle of conversations with other people and imaginary fights or old girlfriends or family members or or or, or, or imagining like this, this, that, the other thing. Everyone does it, you know the test train again is he picking up passengers it doesn't matter I mean it's only one more stop till the end of the line and uh, 
Good morning. <laughs> Yes. These are, we call these trolleys. Once upon a time, uh, we had street cars on the street level, and then you had a subway, meaning like underground. And then the two systems were united. Street cars were abandoned for a, uh, a, a light rail. That was, you know, except, you know, that can go straight from the street level to an incline ramp down to the subway. Yeah. One minute. One minute. Ah, oh, we can see the train coming. I can hear that train coming. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hear my train coming. It's coming down the track. Don't bump, bump, don't, don't bump, bump, bump. Hear my train coming, coming down my track. Ah, gratitude. So I start off my gratitude list with the Foundation Eight. So when I roll out of bed at 3:37 a.m., I'm already have formatted my hard drive to be grateful for eight things. Just rolling out of bed. I am grateful for my family, my friends, my faith, my freedom, my health, my union job, a good night's sleep, and a solid breakfast. And from there, I elaborate and I build on that. I am grateful for my family, my friends, my faith, my freedom, my health, my union job, a good night's sleep, and a solid breakfast. That is my foundation eight. I got a solid night's sleep. Uh, I got a good night's sleep, yes. I think I was just, uh, I, I go to bed early. I don't care anymore. I, I, yesterday was my birthday. I'm, a, I'm, old, I'm old. I'm 52 years old now. You don't look it, you don't act it. I probably smell it though. <laughs> um. What did you do for your birthday, Sully? Well, I hung out with friends on the weekend. We went to see some live music, friends band. So I got a, you know, it was nice. Um, um, yeah. <laughs> oh. So yeah, I got a good night's sleep, rolled out of bed, popped my panty pills, already great for great things. And then I uh, put on the kettle, make some coffee, I had a breakfast, the last leftover blueberry muffin, it had to go, so I'm gonna get rid of it the hard way. <laughs> I had a couple bites left of my, uh, of that lemon parfait. I mean, it's got so much sugar in there. I am like enthused, I, I'm, a, I, I'm awake. So I had my good night's sleep, I had my solid breakfast, I rolled out of bed. Put on the YouTube. Oh, some, just a couple of shows. First thing in the morning. Oh, I leave about quarter of five. And I get to work on time. About 6 a.m. Well, before 6 a.m. You know, so my day starts at 6 a.m. It ends at 2.30 p.m. Rinse, wash, repeat. <sighs> That's about it, yeah. And I'm, I'm grateful and blessed to have a simple life. It's New Comic Book Day. I love New Comic Book Day. I love comic books. It's part of my my culture, like, you know, I have a great hobby. You know, you know, it keeps it keeps the, it keeps unworthy chicks away, but it also keeps all the chicks away. So there's that too. 
<laughs> at least I've got my exclusive Japanese Kotobuki Abucho show, you know, G.I. Joe the Baroness figurine. She'll never lose that booty. <laughs> But yeah, it's just a, it's a Wednesday morning. And it's, you know, embrace the day. I mean, what else are you going to do? Be miserable? A lot of being happy boils down to a conscious... A lot of being happy boils down to, to a conscious choice. Like, do you want to be a miserable prick? People are like, wow, Sully, you're really chipper and positive. I, I know, but lots of practice. Because I'm really good at being miserable. I'm really good at being mean. I'm toxic, angry, ribald, caustic. Being scathing. I'm really good at all that. But what good is it? It has, it's handy. It has its, it has its place, especially like online on social media. I'm only on Twitter X and, and, and YouTube. I mean, just so, well, Parler got taken down because there's just right wing chuds, and I just don't know understand why Threads didn't just take off or, or Mastodon, and the Bluesky is just you know that's where all the good people are going is a Bluesky, who's where the skies are blue not red because those are bad people and they're fascists and they're Nazis and just, you know you gotta be prepared for like that so there are a lot of jerks on online are you one of them? am I one of them? I can be one of them I have been one of them I know how to be a jerk I can do it easy oh wrong zipper our stop is next it's a mile and a quarter walk from Leechmere station to work but it's also a mile and a quarter walk from home to the Davis Square station the red line that you usually see this and it's about a mile walk from Mom's condo to either one of the Red Line stations down in Quincy. So it's it's it's, you know, it's the same kind of commute. Ah oh, man! And it's a Wednesday. It's the middle of the week. If you have a middle of the week, I'm blessed and grateful. I I, I used to have a second job for for years and years and years. I had one day off. You know, and just, I'm grateful and blessed I'm at the point where, like, I got a weekend. Well, a lot of people don't have that. Some people have second, maybe third jobs. Gosh. I'm so blessed and grateful that I have time to go to bed early. <clears throat> like, what do you do with your time? Eh, fart around. Read books. Watch movies. Shows. You know, talk to family and friends. And I like to sleep. Actually, it's it's an interesting note I picked up from an old book on samurai. It's from Japanese. It's from Hagakure. And it means hidden leaves or hidden in the leaves. Um, Hagakure. It's a, just a, it's a book on how to, you know, the mind of a samurai. And it's a uh, like lot of little anecdotal things from different sources, different samurais. Um, and one of them says, you know, the older I get, the more I... I find joy in sleeping. I do too. I mean, I don't nap. I, I like to nap. But, you know, I always associated napping with depression. You know, because not only, you know, you're physically exhausted, you're mentally exhausted, spiritually exhausted. You need to escape reality with a little dream time and a little, you know. So, uh, it's something I picked up over the years, you know. That depression is anger turned inward, you know. I'm happy to say that I think, of, you know, I can get sad, but I don't get depressed anymore. I have panic and anxiety, 
but it's so divorced from the garden variety depression that I used to suffer from. And in, in, in conquering depression, you know, a lot of it had to do with embracing gratitude and focusing on what I have instead of what I don't have. I mean, if you have clinically depressed and if you suffer from depression, you know, there's a way out of that. It can, it can burn itself out. You never know. It might just bite me in the ass and fucking just come back for revenge. Wanting, you know, interest, uh, you know, on that payment and shit. Who knows? But what I do know is that life is better with, with gratitude. <sighs> it's a late November morning. It's, uh... It'll be December very soon. It's almost Thanksgiving. I don't know what I'm going to do for Thanksgiving. But I have offers. People, family, and friends are saying, like, hey, come over for Thanksgiving. Don't be alone. You just lost your mom. Bonjour, bonjour. Como ça va? <laughs> bon matin. <laughs> and, um, ain't that cool? Yeah. <laughs> I don't have answers. All I have are more questions. <sighs> what to do after work? Oh, go into the town square. Get some a couple of rolls of quarters. Pick up some of those gummies you like. Be prepared for the holiday. And um, yeah, I'll spend all. Hol- you know, I'm going to be kind of maybe even content to just spend the holiday, you know, spend Thanksgiving farting around my mom's condo. You know, I'll bring a, the spare TV and my spare Blu-ray player and my copies of the Lord of the Rings extended cut trilogy and, you know, do what I always do on holidays if I'm alone. Have a, I spend, I watch the Lord of the Rings trilogy extended cut. You start it at 7 a.m. and it's over by like 8.30 or 9 p.m. Depending on like how many intermissions you take. And, uh, and I got to listen. I, I, I got to enjoy the, the credit, the, the end credits because of the music. And then I also, I watch it with the cast commentary tracks. Which is amazing. And the Hobbits literally talk over the entire end credits. And it's just, they're so funny. And they're, they have such a natural chemistry. It's, it's wonderful. Um, but yeah, so it's Wednesday. Hump this day. Let's sit me hump you without your consent. So get humping. Well, that's I was that was my plan too. But you know, you know, I just what are you gonna do? Bitch about being single, well, or bitch about fucking how much hassle your wife's gonna give you? I mean, I don't know. There is no way out. There's the only way he's through. I don't know. But God bless. Namaste. Good luck. Have a great day. Keep smiling. It makes the world go around. All right. Let's make tracks. See you tomorrow with more gratitude. All right. Bye.